こんにちは、ゆうこ先生です。いつもレッスンを見てくれてありがとうございます。11月28日月曜日から私の日本語オンライン学校でサイバーマンデースペシャルをします。From Monday, November 28th, I'm going to do Cyber Monday specials at my online school, Smile 日本語 Academy. As I did in the past years, I'm going to open these two course packages with a discount only for one week. These packages are not available for the rest of the year. I open them only once in a year at the end of November for the Cyber Monday week. So if you want any of these packages, please sign up between November 28th to December 4th. And they are packages of Japanese 1 and 2, 2 and 3, 3 and 4, 4 and 5, 5 and 6, and 6 and 7. And you can use the sign up links in the Shoma section below only from November 28th to December 4th. And this year, I have a special bonus for you. The first 100 students will receive one free lesson from the popular listening course. When you sign up for any of the two course packages, you will receive the listening lesson for free. The lesson comes with audio materials, vocabulary list, and worksheets to practice your listening comprehension. But the seats are limited to 100 for this gift, so sign up sooner than later if you want the listening lesson for free. This bonus is only available for the Cyber Monday week this year. Okay, from here, I'm going to explain the course content from Japanese 1 to 7. I left the timestamps below this video for your convenience. You can also download the course lesson list in the Shoma section below. Japanese 1 is designed for complete beginners. If you want to start from zero, this is the perfect course for you. The course first teaches you how to pronounce Japanese sounds correctly. Then you will learn to talk about yourself and other people so that you can introduce yourself, your family, and your friends. Japanese too teaches you how to ask and answer questions in daily life. You will learn to ask what, what time, what day, how much, when, Where and other questions in a proper manner in Japanese. This course also introduces the difference between informal and formal speech. Japanese 3 focuses on Japanese verbs and particles. This course teaches you how to construct sentences with Japanese verbs in mass form. It also teaches you how to select the right particles. You will learn to say what you usually do and don't do, what you have and don't have, what you did in the past, where you did it, when you did it, with whom you did it, and how long you did it. Japanese 3 is essential for your solid foundation in Japanese. Japanese 4 is all about the Japanese te form. So many expressions in my language use te form. So knowing te form takes your Japanese communication skills to the next level. The course guides you through how to make te forms and in what expressions you have to use the te forms. Japanese 4 also comes with exercises to improve your pronunciation and fluency with mp3 files that you can download. Japanese 5 covers all about Japanese adjectives. Love, like, dislike, or want are verbs in English, but they are all adjectives in Japanese. So, without knowing how to use adjectives, you cannot express your desire or wishes for the future in Japanese. Japanese 5 teaches you how to conjugate adjectives, how to compare and describe things, And how to express your like and love properly in Japanese culture. Japanese 6 teaches you Japanese plain forms and informal speech. When you are watching Japanese movies or anime, I'm sure most of the time you will hear informal speech. 
Informal speech is the first speech style that Japanese children learn at home, but it's more complex to conjugate than the polite form. Now you are going to learn all about it in this course, and by the end of Japanese 6, you will have the ability to switch between formal and informal speech. This course also covers when to use informal speech as a grown-up so that you are not going to sound like a child or impolite to people by using informal speech in the wrong situations. Japanese 7 teaches you Japanese potential forms and volitional forms. We use potential forms to express what we can or cannot do. In English, you add can or be able to to a verb to express your ability or capability. But in Japanese, we entirely change the form of the verb, and that's potential form. We use volitional forms to say let, shall we, or shall I do it for you to friends or family members in informal speech. We also use the volitional form when we express our intentions. The course covers five different ways to express your intentions in Japanese, both informal and informal versions, and how they are different from each other. At the end of each course, you can submit an assignment, and I'll check it for you and get back to you with my feedback. The assignment is not mandatory, but many students submit it and enjoy receiving individual feedback from me. When you have a question, you can ask me inside the course, and I always answer with detailed explanations and support your learning. Once enrolled, you have unlimited access to the courses. I have many students who joined my courses three or four years ago and are still using them as their learning resources. You can repeat any lesson or course as many times as you want. You will also receive any updates or new lessons that I will add to the courses in the future. Again, these two course packages are open only for one week, from Monday, November 28th. You can find the sign-up links in the Shoma section below. I look forward to having you as my student and being part of your Japanese learning journey. 皆さんと一緒に日本語を勉強するのを楽しみにしています。では、コースの中でお会いしましょう。